Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. With that, we'll get up to FedEx Field for the Washington home opener. Standing by, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Redskin team as they interplay here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And the way they played last week defensively, you look at the tape, it looks like they had extra guys on the field, and they thoroughly shut down that offense. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they come off a good win in the opener on the road, and they get a second road game here. Yeah, the schedule makers didn't really do them any favors, but if they can win here and get to 2-0 on the road, they could be well set up for the rest of the year. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the 5. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. He didn't have as many throws or plays in college as many of the quarterbacks that were coming out in the draft, but he maximized what he had. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback at North Dakota State. And his first pass is incomplete. And here are the starters for Philadelphia. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. They've been very good against the pass so far this year. Number four in the NFL right now. And hey, they were stingy in the opener. Didn't allow much of anything at all through the air. So now they come into week two saying, hey, let's see if we can do even better. Let's go ahead and get to that number one spot. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Now a play fake, Wentz, and he connects with Ertz. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. In Washington territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Quick hitter here, it's complete. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. That's it. That's it. Big hit. 
And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. They had a good game catch the ball in the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Now defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carry for Darius Geis. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. And a quick look at Washington's offense. I thought Brandon Scherf was one of the best tackle prospects I'd seen in recent years coming out of the University of Iowa, but didn't surprise me at all when Washington decided to move him inside to guard. He has the requisite size that you're looking for, but I also think that he has the great movement skills in order to pull, trap, and also climb to the second level for blocks downfield. I think he's going to be a stalwart for them for years to come. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. On first and 10, here's Wentz. For Marshall, that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first down, Sanders. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. One yards there and a first down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. A quick throw there out to Jeffrey. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The first catch for Jeffrey. Good enough for a first down. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run. Positions himself well. Excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. The numbers for Sanders last week, 
21 carries, 136 yards, and a touchdown. So coming off the opener where they established the run and established it well, their goal is to make sure that the trend continues and to serve notice to the rest of the league that they might be a run-first team. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. To throw, it's Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So two first quarter field goal attempts for him, and he's converted on both. I like the positive right there. Two for two, got the points on the board. The negative side is they didn't score touchdowns. And of course, going forward in this game, that's going to be the aim, and hopefully they'll be kicking extra points instead. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Haskins to throw. That is caught by the former Gator, Antonio Callaway. Geis with a carry on second down, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Haskins. This one complete to Jordan Reed, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. A look at the numbers from a week ago for Reed. Nine catches, 92 yards. And what we just saw there was exactly what they need against this defense. Big play. That's caught inside the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well. Because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Extra point good by Hopkins. And they take the lead here at 7-6. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it was polished off by a Redskin touchdown. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. 
<laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to Let's the go, ball, go. man. Let's go. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. From the 29, Wentz. It's brought in by Jeffrey. And he's going to be out down run, inside the 20 at the 15. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Wentz now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. On first down, Wentz. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down, Wentz. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz. His second touchdown on the season. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the side. Haskins hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this, when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is a, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Pushing a foul, roughing the passer, defense. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Second and five now. Haskins, and he fires one incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Haskins to throw it. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. On first and 10, it's Haskins. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. Second and 10, here's Haskins again. It's caught by Aguilar. Only three yards on the catch, it's third down. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Haskins. And that will be incomplete. 
More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. Now Wentz on third down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. But a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way, go. and they won't settle for go. anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him, and he feels like, if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass. No interceptions for him personally to this point. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Hey, watch the ball. Watch the ball. Out, out, out. Following the penalty, it's Geis. And an alley to run. He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The Redskins on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Haskins will throw. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember that. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Hopkins with the extra point, and with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Thank you. 
Single, single, slot, slot. Hey, you're on an island over there. You're on an island. <laughs> This is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. A great effort there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Redskins have once again taken the lead. Well, we know he can run the ball. There he shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player. A guy who can run it, catch it, probably can protect the passer when necessary, but his skills are best used when you get the ball in his hands. And that's the thing. When you've got an athlete like that, you want to get the ball to him in multiple ways, right? Without a doubt, because he often creates mismatches about who can cover him, whether he's coming out of the backfield or even lining up like a receiver. Extra point good by Hopkins, and the lead is up to five. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting sent to take over. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little 
quarterback strut going right now to make sure this team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Wentz going to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Nelson Aguilar and company getting set to go again on offense now. And we see his collection of highlights. He's always so tough to cover. He really is, and there are plenty of reasons why. Runs great routes, has an understanding of what defenses want to do against him, and really has a great determination to go up and get the football. He decides it's his and no one else's. And he's decided that a lot so far in this game. And he's got this one complete to Callaway. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. That's taken in by Callaway. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. So we've come to halftime in a five-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game, it was Dwayne Haskins with a strong first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Redskins now to take over. They've got the lead right now in this contest, and they're coming off that victory a week ago against the Minnesota Vikings. Set to go first and 10. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Derek Barnett able to maneuver in for the sack. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown on the season as his guys have cut the lead down to two. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. Coming to you, coming to you. Working from the gun, Wentz throws right side. 
And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually... There's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now it's Haskins. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back near the goal line, here's Wentz. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. They'll run on first down. Sanders, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. On second and nine, Wentz, and his throw here is incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Play fake to Sanders, now here's Wentz. And Jeffrey's got it. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. To throw is wins. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. For Marshall, that's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. No, oh, bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's loose. And the Redskins scoop it. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're gonna get there. The 20, 10, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And they will take a seven point lead now. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Here we go, here we go. Check, 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 check.
We got this. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Talk about sex all day, baby. Go ahead and take a seat. You can't stop me. That's the end of the third quarter of play. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Third down. Here's Haskins. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. This is taken at the three. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Shotgun now for Wentz. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. In your face. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, but it'll be second down. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Now Wentz. And he's got the hook up to Moore. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Wentz now on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. 
Check, check. Once again here on second and 10. His throw incomplete. They were trying to go to Marshall that time. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And it's third down. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Deron Payne picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Let's go, lady. Let's go, baby. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Out. Out. the football and the Redskins scoop it and they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40 yard line we have seen this before and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time catch the ball you know there's going to be some traffic somewhere they've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield at Washington as they come onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game 
this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. On second down, it's Sanders. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Wentz now on first down. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he's brought down. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And that moment we just saw always so special for any rookie the first touchdown of his career. And there's nothing like anticipation, is there? You know he's been dreaming about it, thinking about it. It's been a part of every bit of his being. And finally, it gets done. He's got to feel great right now. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter.
in touchdown eagles miles sanders his second touchdown of the game his third on the year and they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter hey that score deserves our respect deserves our excitement but i'm looking at the clock and i'm thinking there's a long way to go in this one ideally they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now on the other sideline you start to get the crew together and say this is what we practice the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. They'll look to throw. And this one complete to Reed. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. Throwing now is Haskins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Now it's Haskins. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep. They'll take off time. Blitz them, 
put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And they take a knee. Well, Brandon, they're getting to 2-0, and, oh, and this time they're able to take a knee at the end and secure the victory. Preseason, coach said their goal. They obviously want to win everything. He said, I think we can get off to a 3-0 and oh start. Well, here they are looking at 2-0 and oh right now. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. So for Philadelphia, it's a dream start. Two wins in two early road games. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Redskins, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take.